High Greedy 3D, as you may remember, the saga of the Creality K1 build plate arriving from their factory settings, all swift and at an angle, poor quality control. Well, I can't get anything to stick to the right hand side of the bed. Things in the center of the bed are fine, but the right hand side, it will not stick. Now, you remember I approached them with the problem and they sent me a video. Thank you. Creality, fix it yourself, in other words, uh, greedy. So, yes, that is what I'm going to do. But this was an interesting thing, really. The first thing it told me to do in the actual video was lower the Z axis all the way down to the floor. So, the first thing I did was that lowered it to the floor. Now, this was very interesting. When it hit the floor, when it hit the bottom, this is what happened. Hmm. That doesn't sound right, does it? But when you look at it, you see what happened. It actually looked like it had sorted the problem out. It looked like it had squared it off. So I did a real rudimentary test by just getting some scraper and looking at the height on the one side and the height the other side, and it didn't look too bad. So I thought, has that solved the problem? I wasn't really convinced. So I raised it back up and I did an auto leveling test. But even as it raised back up to three quarters up, I could see that it was still on the squiff. It was not straight. It had not solved the problem. So back to the drawing board and following again the instructions in the Creality video, I laid this on its side as shown in the picture here unscrewed the four feet and the two little bolts that hold the lid on and then really carefully took the base off and lifted it over the top. This then showed me the inside of the machine, loosen the tensioners on the belts, that's really important. And then you can push this gadget together there, which takes the tension off the belt. And with a fair bit of fiddling and messing, the belt came off. The next part was just to remove the belt from the Z-axis to the side of the right-hand side of the build plate and turn the Z-axis to raise it up so it doesn't affect the belt or the build plate at all. And the build plate raised into a position I wanted it. And the hardest part for me was to actually get the belt back on without moving anything. But if we look here, at the actual video from Creality, you're supposed to lower it to the bottom and once you've took it off, put the holding screws back in and that prevents it happening. A lesson learned by me. I didn't do that bit, but if ever I need to do it again, I will. Anyway, got the belt back on. That was fine. Once the belt is back on, don't forget to redo up the tensioner screws. And then while it's lying on its side, I ran a leveling test. Now you can do this. It's fine. You can level it with it's on its side. Now for me, I was quite happy. I think this looked relatively straight and even. If you are a perfectionist, you can go into the app and on that bottom section of the app, the bottom right, you can see the build plate level there. Now, mine isn't perfect, far, far from it. But if you want to play with it and mess with it, you can get it as perfect as you want. Now, for me, a test print that I tried worked absolutely beautifully, but I wanted to do something a little bit bigger. So I ran the base program, the base for the Morbius model from Wicked, which takes up the whole or pretty much whole of the base. And thankfully, this time it's holding to the bed absolutely wonderfully. No adhesion problems at all. I am a happy boy. Hope you found this video interesting and I hope it's given you the confidence to have a little crack at it yourself. And I'll put a link in the description to Creality's video where you can see how to do this from the experts themselves. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Greedy 3D. Music